Hey, it's Random Pop Culture. I'm Mr. Carol. Once again, I Mr. Meaning we're running guys at Wrestling Trouser Torches channel on my social media platforms. I like Twitter, Instagram, Brighton, Odyssey, Reddit, BitChute, Minds, any of the social media platforms. So just in case the channel gets shut down or, God forbid, hacked or DDoS or even worse, Shadow Man or even extra worse, fucking delete it. My algorithm, God forbid. Anyways, I know. It's just like half a week old. I think it was like Friday, Saturday when it came out or Sunday. I know it's like a Friday afternoon by the time you guys are watching us. I'm doing this on a Thursday, but it is what it is. Um, <laughs> I know it's been a really hot ass minute. The last time I did anything Overwatch related at all, period. Um, did any reactions to it? Because last time I played it was like 2018, early 2019. So it's been a very long ass since I played it. Unless I heard the the playability and the valuability for like Overwatch franchise kind of been dying badly for the past couple months, unfortunately, which sucks. They still do a lot of DLC updates and stuff too, so I'm very hugely, and it sounds the hell out of me that it's being ran by a billion trillion dollar company like Blizzard Activision and still not performing the way it should be. That's pretty mind blowing as hell. Anyways, um, this is Genesis Part One Overwatch Anime Short. It's gonna be three episodes from what I heard about it. I gotta credit credit to my dude Gordon, the movie guy. I heard about it from his reaction or whatever, so I'll leave the link to his reaction down below if you want to check it out yourself. Also, yeah, there was another movie I want to get into. Oh, dude. Anytime a movie that has this dude, like, he's like the old Bejito, like, senior citizen version of Keanu Reeves. Even though, granted, he's getting up there in age, too, but he's probably got, like, eight or ten years before he hits his, like, early mid-60s. But um, other than that, it was uh, the guy, Liam Neeson. He's making another movie. It's called Retribution. Man, I cannot wait to see that thing. Any movie that has him in it, even though he's always playing the same character from how he was not Taken and Flight Path and then another movie... Or it was, I forget what it was. Like Commuter, all these other films that he's always done. <laughs> always make a chef's kiss, man. It's full of drama, suspense, like edge of your seat freaking action adventure. I know I watched the other one he did last year about him. Like he was like working the FBI or CIA as one of his friends ended up stabbing him in the back and he had to like get revenge for him or whatever because he was trying to like kill his granddaughter or something like that, threaten his family. It was crazy, bro. <laughs> Shit is just absolutely phenomenal badass actor Liam Neeson. Anything he's in, automatically seen in theaters ASAP. Anyways, reach one, let's get it in. Overwatch, John, I, Genesis Part 1. It's supposed to be an anime version of it. I put it a lot more faster, so reach one, let's jump into it. I might get a copy of the point. Roger, 30 seconds. Battalion spotted your sector, 50 clicks south southeast. Copy that. Delta, take positions. Hope it's good. And they're going with the fire. Units approaching. Grid point one nine, Charlie. Human five, human Overwatch started as a freaking game series instead of anime series. Get out of here, Charlie. Get out of here. 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 Get out that John Cena playing the voice? Scared. I was kind of like him a little bit. They were I supposed to be the uh, beginning of a new life. But in that moment, hmm. okay. it felt like the end of humanity. There's Genesis Part 1, the dawn. Life before the war was... <laughs> Funny, her name is Karma. Who is this best to do with the one that was like that robot, a robot? God programs. Like the next generation of artificial intelligence became I'm omnipresent. Surprised. By the time 20, 30, 40 comes along, that's probably going to be very, very They controlled most of our infrastructures, like the food distribution I'm systems, aimed at helping so against famine, poverty. Yeah. We were no longer defined by our mistakes. No. The AIs were saving us from them. Artificial intelligence was running systems to make our lives better, but what was mm. really exciting was combining it with robotics. Well, Onyx like started building a new things. line of state-of-the-art robots. Onyx would eventually eliminate the need for humans to do all those idle, mundane, often Ooh, dangerous jobs. Everyday needs that puts power Andrew. at your fingertips. It's a line of robots that put power by your side. And geared up to put power yeah. in their hands. Omnica Corp. Always looking to what's next. Yeah, and then they take over everyone's fucking job sure. after that. We had the pedal to the metal. 
Mm, there's gonna be a solution for that, but I really don't want to be here when that problem and a solution happens. But I already know it's gonna be making robots smarter. And trying to get religious here. And safer, and as you know, this business no, is no, all about what's understand. next. And what was next was Mina. And in Tech Talk, Omnicacore announced today that Dr. Mina Liao, the science prodigy and eminent visionary in robotics, will develop the next generation of Omnics. <laughs> Omnicacore has made a lot of strides, and, well, we're going to do um. better. The what I mean is, they've done great. Now. We've so done great. But it's time to reach for the stars. Frankly, I had my doubts. Uh, Dr. Liao was a legend in her field, in but <laughs> we Funny were asking the CEO her to push the limits of what many thought was already perfection. He's a billionaire too, it's a crazy part. Some bodies should be a stop to it. It wasn't science, it was arrogance. When it came down to the moment of truth, uh, that's supposed to be the robot from the other one. We had no idea what was about to happen. <laughs> it didn't just activate. She was born. Life before the war was extraordinary. Anything was possible. <laughs> It's kind of sad, honestly. But it was all about to change. Oh, shit. Not in a good way. We're watching Invasion, August 10th. Oh, that's it. Nothing else. All right, yeah, it's done. <laughs> yeah, so uh, thoughts, views, and opinions on it? I don't know. It's something I'm probably going to end up skipping because I still have been to watch the other half of the... I've been watching five, ten episodes of it already with Dr. Stone. And then there was another rep, like um, anime series I've been really, really wanting to get into because I heard a lot of hype around it. I'm not sure if it's any good or not, but I may check it out for myself. Depends. I know there's a lot of sports animes, which I normally see big this summer and this coming fall too. So that's pretty fucking wild, honestly. <laughs> because um, those weren't even that big at that time either. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, I did hear that they were gonna make like another anime series for like, or actually not an anime series, but like another season for like another series, like which I haven't watched in a while. I actually not even watched a lot. I just never watched at all. Period. But I know this is another one's been popping off pretty hard, and it's been like very very huge. I think it's the same people that made the One Punch Man and um, um something, I forgot what's the name, something one one. It's called Jujutsu Kaisen season three, so it's a third season. Now. And there was another one I've been to watch called Ren and Girlfriend. There's a third season for that. I gotta watch the first two seasons of it before I even get into the third one, because that one I've always wanted to watch. I've never had the time to, the time or luxury to like see it though. Anyway, so um, let's go on to the next part here. Okay, so this, <laughs> this right here, my friends. Oh my gosh. It's crazy because, like, oh, man. They literally, it's only been three years or three and a half years since they released the PlayStation 5 already. And they already want to do a PS Slim already, which surprisingly until, like, 2026 or 2027 to do, like, PlayStation 6. And then they could have made it a Slim version. I don't know, man. It's just kind of silly to me, honestly. And this, plus, there's still so many people out there that don't have a PS5 console at all. So I don't know why they're doing this so soon. After three and a half years of being out, those it's really hard to get your hands on that thing unless you want to pay a thousand dollars on a scalper and it's a big burn wasting them dropping the bucket of money man my personal thing so this one's from tom's guy getting credit cards due to um roland mori collier it's ps5 slim rumor release date prices designs and more sony slim down ps5 could arrive in 2023 but PS5 is a device and machine with some people liking the bold two-tone design and the others will be finding to be a big and ungainly console that could do something to slimmer it down. It could be happening in the form of the rumors of the PS5 Slim. I don't know, man. It's just, it just feels way too late to be doing this or too early to be doing this. I said before I said it again, there's just the Jim Ryan dude you should just hold his horses. I know some PS5 executives in Japan is she just wait off another bit longer before until they released the PlayStation 6 and then they could have released it like that instead of it being a big, super big, chonky boy of a freaking console. Because 
And then after I did the whole last thing, I heard about, I don't know, this is going to have worse overheating effects. Like what happened two weeks ago with the Final Fantasy 16 rebirth thing? What happened to that? What if it just does it for the most lowest quality rated games? I don't know. <laughs> and then the next one I'm going to talk about real quick. I haven't seen a movie with this guy in a while, so it's like the Spider-Man series and then again with the Uncharted live action, which that one was kind of bad, man. I'm not going to lie. Even though granted, I never played any of the Uncharted 1, 2, or 3, or 4 games. The last one I did in like 2015, 2017, I think. I was never a fan of it. And Grand Naughty Dog was the one that made out. Same one I did Last of Us 2. And then those would be last for three rumors. I don't know. I'll probably talk about that Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. I'll say this. This is a really, really crazy one because it's an action horror thriller from his doing. It says, push himself to the limits for his new, new intense TV series. It's the hardest thing he's ever did. I don't know. I don't know if it's good or if it's bad. I think it's supposed to be for, I don't know, like Apple Plus TV. So, I don't know. Hopefully it does awesome. And the last little bit of news I know this thing is never going away for some reason. It's like when the plan I was scamming at Convict-119 was happening. The mainstream media won't let this shit go. This is former Ocean Gate advisor says the Titanic Marine dropped its own weight and may have tried to resurface it before was implosion but possibility indicating that those on board they knew something had gone completely wrong this is from insider you guys can read it we'll leave the links in the description box down below if you want to listen to it or read it your own time but still shame that little 19 year old kid ended up dying though honestly he didn't deserve that shit man honestly even if he was just trying to impress his dad on father's day he should have just completely avoided it and went to that blink 182 concert or so even if he was kind of slapping his dad in the face but this one comes a lot of, especially Asians and Arab Middle East or West Indy, Southeast Asian families. They really had to have a shitload of respect for their parents big time. They literally had to worship them like a god, in a way. Which is kind of sad. And God wasn't like that for my parents, but... Oh, man. I would have been a bitch. I would have been born one of those two races. Unless it's a family. So, except unless it would have been Japanese Asian. I would have been in the freaking Japan. Born over that. I would have been badass. But anyways... It's really all I have to say for now. I'm gonna cut the outro short. Links to search by down below as always in the card title description on the side. Hopefully you like my reaction. That's it. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Bros and family Sam, talking noise. Peace out my star crawl, ladies and mice, you flip side. I'm gonna be doing another one about DC, because there's like an anime version of DC that's coming out. It's not the first time they did it either, because I know they did it with the Batman series too, and it was like a samurai ninja. It was like four or five hundred years in the past. That's gonna be awesome. I'll see you soon. Peace. Gone later. <laughs>